Hello guys, today we are going to be looking at super sampling, specifically with the Nevada control panel. So I'm going to try and explain that in the title, but this is not, I'm not explaining super sampling uh, through game engines or like game options. Obviously, in game, if you're, uh, the game you are playing does support super sampling as an anti-aliasing, it would be labeled something like SSAA or uh, other things, usually SS is super sampling, followed by things that refer to anti-aliasing like AA. Um, but that is not what I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be looking at super sampling through the NVIDIA control panel, uh, or as they start stands for dynamic super resolution, not super sampling. And what that does is that enables you to run your games in a higher resolution, I'm going to be showing 4K. Uh, obviously, this is all on a 1080p monitor. The native resolution is 1920 by 1080. And so, that's what it's displaying to. It's downscaling to that. But it's rendering it at 4K. So, uh, I will show you guys that in a minute uh, through game clips I have recorded. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about exactly what is super sampling. So super sampling is like I mentioned rendering it at a higher resolution than is the native resolution. So in my case rendering it at 4K which gives you a lot of extra pixels obviously. 4K is like 8 million pixels and 1080p is I think it's like one and a half million pixels or something significantly lower than 4K. And so that's a lot of extra pixels that aren't going to get displayed, obviously, because we have a 1080p monitor, so it's displaying in 1080p. But with all those extra pixels, what what it does, uh, what super sampling does, is it takes the pixels around the one that it's going to be displayed, and it makes the it, it it allows it to pick a more average color of the surrounding pixels to make transitions of colors and lines trans. Uh, line transitions from an edge of something into open space in a 3D example much more smooth because it uh, there's just so much of a better transition in there because it it's picking average colors from a lot more pixels than rendering at 1080p so uh, I'm uh, I'd like to apologize for the stupid headset I have on it's my brother's I do not have a mic at all and this is the only thing I could find that has a mic so you're going to have to put up with this for the next couple of videos until I buy an actual microphone. Uh, the camera that I'm using is not a very good quality one, and so I hope to get a better one soon enough. Also, the video editing software that I'm using it has a watermark that you guys will see right now and through all the, the beginning of this video because uh, I need to purchase it. I'm using the free trial. I need to purchase it to get rid of that. But I will be getting some money soon, so I will be able to do that, and there will be no watermark. So let's get into it. First off, I'll show you how to enable super sampling with your uh, Nevita card through the Nevita control panel. So to enable uh, this super sampling, you are going to want to go to Nevita control panel. And I'm going to show you here that this is actually a 1080p monitor. I'm not using a 4K monitor. I'm not using any sort of fancy monitor. This is just a regular 1080p, 1920 by 1080 native resolution at 60 hertz. And that's the fastest it goes. So it's just a regular old monitor. But uh, this is the one I wanted. Uh, this guy. So we're going to restore to default so that... So this is what you see coming into... The video control panel if you haven't done anything. And you're going to want to go to DSR, which is Dynamic Super Resolution. And you're going to want to click four times. So that's going to be four times your native resolution, which what I have is 1080. So I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure that if you were running 4K and you hit four times, it would render four times your native resolution, which is 4K, which would be. Wow, that would be some insane stuff right there. But, um, no, this is just a, a tip for people to run better um, better graphics on their 1080p monitor, even after they've maxed out 
the game graphics. So you hit OK. Uh, DSR smoothness. I've just left that at its stock. I've messed around it with a, a little bit. Uh, put it to the max. Put it to the minimum. And it really didn't make much of a difference. So um, yeah, that's that's about it for that. You hit apply. Uh, give it a minute here. There it goes. And once it's applied, the first game up is BeamNG Drive. And as you can see from the drop down menu here, we have all of the settings completely maxed out at 1080p resolution. This clip is super sampled, and if my video editing software worked properly and I did it all right, you should be able to see that everything looks smoother, colors look better. It's just, it's generally a more pleasing to the eye experience. But you may have also noticed, because from my frame counters, that we've had a significant drop in performance and that's because it causes a lot higher of a load on your GPU. This clip is super sampled and if my video editing software worked properly and I did it all right, you should be able to see that everything looks smoother, colors look better, it's just it's generally a more pleasing to the eye experience. But you may have also noticed because from my frame counters that we've had a significant drop in performance and that's because it causes a lot higher of a load on your GPU.